Hey you guys, how you doing? This is Real Talk And I'm coming to you with a new episode And in this one, I just want to have a general discussion And list some observations of what's going on uh, Lately, past few days, maybe like the last week or past four or five days, week or so I've been uh I've been looking at all the videos, all the, all the archives that I had because I was watching other videos that were saying uh that a lot of the curses that we have in our household are attached to items and that includes videos, music and things of that nature. And if we have the, those that stuff in our possession that that is actually a bad thing, you know, and it's been weighing heavy on my heart to uh, to get rid of these things. But before I got rid of them, you know, maybe I'm doing wrong. Maybe Jesus is angry or upset with me. I should just straight delete them instead of you know, the one I'm doing. But I've been rewatching everything just to see. You know, I know Jesus is right, but I want to see it from a new viewpoint. And sure enough, uh, just about every every movie in my archive is rotten to the core <laughs> and some are just so blatant that it's uh I can't imagine me not not you know seeing this previous I guess I saw it but I ignored it you know like we, like most of us do and it turns out that they have been indoctrinating us into the Illuminati from the beginning from the womb to the tomb um the tomb that depends and if, if we got you know we pick it up and we put a stop to it and we change focus but for the most part that's the assumption they get you from a baby all the way up until your death and if you do nothing about it then that's you know kind of what they're hope that's kind of what they're counting on um it turns out in the terminator uh reese is running around trying to you know protect sarah and they're in the bar, and that's when Arnold Schwarzenegger goes in there, the, the Terminator goes and starts shooting and stuff, and, and he fights him and all that stuff, and they're running around in the car in the car chase. Later on, when he's explaining everything to Sarah, he, she says, that's impossible, I'm, we're, I'm not stupid, they can't build things like that, because he's explaining the Terminator, that it's a mechanical, uh, it's a cyborg, you know, metal in, inside with a, with a real skin tissue on the outside. And she says, we're not stupid. Can't build things like that. No, not for about 40 years. <laughs> so that movie was about 35 years ago. And look, look where we're at today. Okay, based on the movie, Skynet takes over and all that, you know. And we're not quite at the Skynet yet thing thing yet, but I, as we can see, they're making robotoids. The Japanese are steadily uh, steadily trying to figure out um, all the plastics and stuff. You know, they're they're looking, you know, how to put the faces on on, on the the mechanical robots. All that stuff's on YouTube eyes wide shut um you know just looking at that too and that's a complete um uh, it looks like now not every doctor and lawyer is involved in this stuff but i don't know i was having a conversation with my friend and in eyes wide shut he's running around and it's nothing but nakedness and, and we all know what that movie is that's stanley kubrick matter of fact stanley kubrick died i think three or four days later after the release of the film which was pretty ironic but we kind of know we kind of all of us in the know kind of know what happened they clipped him because he was he was hit, hitting too close to home he was telling all the public what was really going on behind closed doors so to speak but uh, he's running around there in New York or wherever, getting himself into trouble, and people are dying and stuff, and, and it's just uh, 
all the weird stuff that was going on in that mansion party, but basically what that Pandora's box stuff, you know, that Yashkarabi talk about. And it just seems like, <clears throat> uh, in order, if you have any type of money or any type of uh, wealth, corruption is right there. Corruption is going to be right there, like hand in, hand in glove. It, 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 one one goes with the other, you know, and that's pretty much what's going on with us now because, uh, you know, we all see now that they're passing all the homosexual laws. Um, and in the, in the movie, in a couple of shots, we see two men dancing together, two women dancing together men and women, but they're all naked with their little masks on to supposedly cover themselves as if the other guy doesn't know. So, I mean, people can see through the mask, so they can see, you know, I guess the good parts, but not the faces. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's just amazing to me how everything just is, is going the way it's going, and we can't seem to stop this evil. However, I think the reporting of these videos is not necessary to stop the evil because I, I, I don't think that we have the authority or the power to do so because that's solely Jesus' uh, a job. That's Jesus' authority. However, what we do have is the power to, to expose all the evils and all, all the tricks and all the pitfalls that Satan has for us like the pitfall of homosexuality I've been analyzing that one and I come to the conclusion that it's this is a bunch of people that want to disobey God's law and then and then rally together with a lot of money to throw it at Congress because that's what they do when they lobby in Congress they keep throwing money at them to get them to vote a certain way and then they get their laws passed all that stuff and that is the equivalent of me saying, well, you know, I don't believe the Bible. I think it's fake. And that thou shalt not steal and thou shalt not kill law. I'm going to go ahead and erase those and I'm going to do both of those. Because I, you know, I'm, I can do whatever I want. Do as thy wilt. Isn't that, uh, it's like a satanic uh, agenda. Anton LaVey, you know, Aleister Crawley crap. So I'm going to go around killing a bunch of people, hypothetically. I'm going to go around killing a bunch of people and stealing a bunch of money and, you know, getting away with it or whatever, causing harm and damage to the public. But that's okay because, you know, I don't feel like following the Bible, just like a homosexual doesn't want to follow the Bible because it's fake. Then after killing and harming a bunch of people and massing, you know, some wealth there, I'm going to go up to Congress and have them write a law, which is pretty much in place, and tell them, hey, it's okay for me to kill and steal and I want you to say that it's all right. Isn't that what the armies and stuff are doing? Because when it's an, in a war, then it's okay because th th those are those are the casualties of war. You see, <clears throat> they're basically breaking the law of God. Uh, you know, the Bible, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, and God, Almighty God, and they're writing new ones saying that it's okay. Well, no, it's not okay. However, I've said this over and over and over again, so I don't want to be redundant. Um, what it really boils down to is I had a pretty good discussion with a friend of mine, and what it really boils down to is that things are going to happen no matter what, no matter what we say or do. You know, evil is just there, and it's it's all over the place. It's all around us. And if we don't take the proper steps to guard ourselves, to guard our minds and our hearts and our souls and everything that's around us, then, then we will be consumed by that evil. <clears throat> now, Jesus has told us this in the Bible, you know, that they want a Man Mandela effect away, you know. But he wants to, you know, you know, do it in. Uh, another topic that came up was the the debate whether Hillary or or Trump is getting in there. 
And for as much as Trump is 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 no good and he's racist or whatever, supposedly la la la, la Trump might be a better suited option. But honestly, we have no option. There is no option between those two. Between those two, if Trump gets in there, then he's supposedly going to be the 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 voice of the people. But but you know how how well do you trust that guy? He's already showing you that he's that he's not an honorable man, you know. And he's got a lot of money, which means corruption. So when what makes us think that what he's saying out here in our face is is real, is probably all staged. If Hillary gets in, we already know that that's not a good thing. You know, she's doing a bunch of stuff that she should be jailed for. You know, plus she's a female. You know, so now now the power would be switching hands. So that's going to be a big thing. Which which the way I think is going, they might just try to pull that because now that they, they put you know with all this gay stuff. Now they're going to want to empower the females and then get them all rip, all ripped up and rebellious even more so to God. Um, all I know is that these movies and everything that we may have in our libraries is all evil. And I must admit that as I'm deleting these things away, and as I'm starting to clear out, you know, all this uh, spiritual garbage, basically what it is, that I am feeling a lot better. Uh, <clears throat> uh, all I know is that uh, we just have to get right with our Lord Jesus Christ and Almighty God and the Holy Spirit. Um... All the stuff that's going on, uh, we can just keep going around the bushes. And it's not really going to change things. Another thing, too, is, <laughs> is, I noticed that <laughs> is I noticed that everybody that gets on here is always talking <laughs> negative. It's negative this, negative that. It's like we, we are uh, forgetting to be, to we're forgetting that of our blessing of life that God has given us every day. So instead of being all negative, <laughs> being all negative and seeing, oh, this is bad, and the Illuminati's coming out to get me, and da 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 you know what, man? Why don't we be happy? Don't worry, be happy. <laughs> like that one about the, don't worry, be happy. Don't worry, be happy. <laughs> we need to be like that coming out right there, man. And don't worry, just be happy. Because, you know, God is still shining His sun on our shoulders. There's still wind and breeze and trees and birds. And there's still good in the world. And instead of us focusing on all this negative stuff, we really should be enjoying the gifts that God has still given us, you know. Because when God removes His face, that is going to be a terrible and awful and a terrible day for all of us. You know, yes, we have issues and, and problems, and, and you know they're always looking to to do this and that and the other to us, which is you know unfortunately sad. But should it rob us of our joy? Not necessarily. We really should focus uh, on on the good that God has, has given us, you know, and, and, and not focus so much on the evil. Because the evil is going to happen regardless. Uh, the best thing we can do is to encourage each other to wake up, to read our Bibles, you know, to get in touch with our Lord Jesus Christ and Holy Spirit and Almighty God and, and to focus on trying to do positive things. Because, you know, for a long time I, I was kind of in that doom that doomsday mode but now I'm starting to come out of it thank God because I changed my eating habits uh, seems like uh, 
whatever crack was on the corner in the 80s, they put it in the food, <laughs> they put it in the food, and now we're buying food crack, because boy, I'd be fiending for certain, certain, uh, I fiend for certain, uh, food items, and, you know, it's usually sweet, and sugary, sugary sodas, and, and sugars, and, uh, pies, and cakes, and, and all of that is not good, you know, all the MSG and all, all the other stuff involved, you know, anyway, I just want to get on here real quick, just to say this, don't worry, be happy, <laughs> Let's not let's not talk so much about the doom and the gloom because I mean, it seems like that's all all of us are talking about is all the doom and the gloom. Now, if we come across something that that next needs to be spread across the world, and for us to warn each other, okay, that's one thing. But even so, that's why <laughs> that's why if you notice in my videos, I always try to crack jokes. <laughs> I don't know if they're funny or not. Sometimes they are, because I had a couple of responses, and <laughs> some people are like, wow, you make, you make me laugh. <laughs> I try to crack jokes in the middle of all this seriousness, <laughs> because, uh, no, nah, man, I'm not going to let them steal my joy. I mean, what fun is that? That ain't no good, man. I want to, hey, I want to laugh. And just like they use laughter to, to make us lower our shields, we can use la for them to get a negative, uh, uh, negative uh, thoughts into your head. I can use laughs for positive ones, right? <laughs> anyway, man. Uh, anyway, guys, this is real talk. I hadn't come up with a video in a minute because, you know, I'm kind of caught up. And I'll probably be caught up here too, so I'm, it might be a while before I release another one. But you never know, you know, if the spirit moves me. If I'm inspired to say, you know, speak on certain topics, I will. Anyway, uh, this is going to wrap it up for this video. And I'm going to catch up with you guys next time.